Ecomb encourages people to get involved and get responsible for the environment. Let's check them out. My name is Michael Loss, L-A-A-S. I am on the board of directors for Ecom. I'm currently the secretary on the board. And I've been with Ecom on the board for about two and a half years. The reason I'm doing this, the reason I, I get involved is because nonprofits in American society have a very important role. They always have. No other place in the world, I think, has such a well-organized, such a mobilized and strengthened group as the nonprofits are in America. They make huge differences nationally and internationally. And they are the way to make change in America. You can make change in government, yes. You can make change in business, yes. You can also make a lot of change in nonprofits. And you can affect business and companies through nonprofits. So it's kind of like, it's the glue. It, it can, it, you can do everything with nonprofits. And that's why I'm here. I came to Miami. I'm not from here. I've been here for 11 years. I went to school at University of Miami. I love this place. It's, it's an amazing community. You know, you have, to, you have to know why you love it. And I know why I love it. I love it because of the environment. I came here because I fell in love with the blue waters and, and, and you know, the green plants and also the community of people that live here. And when I look around, I want this place to be the best it can be. I want it to be even more beautiful, even more spectacular. Ecom has, uh, has always had a very diverse board of directors. We, you know, we live in a very diverse community. We're in Miami Beach. So sure enough, you're gonna have many walks of life wanting to get involved and express themselves to the environment. And that's when Ecom comes in. You're, you have families, you have a suburban area, mid beach, Demographically, you have many different uh, people from many cultural backgrounds, countries living here in a very small area. You have out-of-towners from all over the world, from middle America to middle of Europe. Now starting to see more Asian tourists come here as well. So you have locals, you have visitors, you have strong business interests as well, all wanting to have a piece of Miami Beach. Not in a selfish way, just they, they want to experience, they want to be here. So. It's been interesting trying to reach out to that community and engage them environmentally and get them excited and, and you know, and saying, look, we need to make change here. Uh, thank God our director, Luis Rodriguez, has done a fantastic job of working with the city of Miami Beach and saying, look, these are ideas that we need to implement. I need your support. And they've been on board. The city of Miami Beach has been very supportive. So through the city of Miami Beach, being on board, we've been able to go out to the neighborhoods, speak to the locals, and the locals are saying, yes, we want this. We want, we, we want recycling. Who doesn't want recycling? We want a greener community. We want a place for our children to play. We want more parks. We want more green spaces. Yes, we want it. And that's where Ecom is. It's a true grassroots nonprofit. And a lot of other organizations, they're operating at such a high level that they're not on the ground. They're not seeing what's going on in the actual community. So they have these, these campaigns that are very, you know, have a very wide reach but they're not targeted to an individual community. And that's the role of Ecom. Ecom is here, we are in the streets, we are in our backyard, we know what Miami needs. We speak with politicians, we speak with community activists, we listen to them, they, you know, they come to us, hey, I got this issue, what can you guys help me with? Okay, we talk about the idea, we say, okay, this is how we're gonna help you. We go to the commission, we speak to them. We're the local voice, and that's what the other nonprofits do not have here. And that's where our value comes in. And, you know, I hate to say this, but Miami's been neglected in terms of a very local environmental scene. We've grown, we've grown, we've grown, we've grown up into the ocean, up into the Everglades. It's almost concrete between the Atlantic Ocean and the Everglades National Park. And we've got to manage that now. You know, we're, we're, we're committed, we're staying here, we're not going anywhere. We gotta make this, this little strip of concrete the best it can be. Oh man, there's so many ways to get involved right now. Definitely you can start by going to our website, ecom.org. That's a great way you'll see all our programs, you'll see our calendar of events. And in that calendar, you'll see many cool things like our traditional cleanup. We do a lot of cleanups. We, we go out to really uh, unique areas that not many people know about, like Monument Island. We go out there, we get in the mangroves, we actually reach in there and pull trash out from areas that are fairly neglected, you know? I mean, respect to the city and the county, they, they do a good job, but they can't be everywhere. And it's the role of nonprofits and citizens to go a step further. So this is my town, this is my house, let's clean it up, let, let's take care of it. So yeah, we help facilitate that. So we definitely do a lot of cleanups. We do, of course, the beach cleanups as well. 
We, um, if you have any recyclables, any electronic recycling, we are an electronics uh, recycling center, so you can come by and bring your, your items. Um, I just recommend people to reach out to us through the, through the internet, learn who we are, and of course give us a call. We're always, we're here, we have an office, and there's so many volunteer uh, activities you can get involved in.